is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i am back with another video today we're in my bathroom because we're doing a get ready with me doing a louisa cosplay video well i'm not technically doing louisa cosplay videos i'm doing a video for a friend's kid right now and wishing them a happy birthday so get ready with me while i get cosplay ready and we can talk Hope you guys have had an amazing week. This full moon is bugging. Okay, I just started my uh, period, so I've been cramping all day. Went for a run, not in the morning, but I woke up this morning. Meditated, journaled, talked on the phone to two amazing people. And then, um, what else? Yeah, I went to the store, had to get some, a couple groceries, you know, stock up on some toiletry, grocery bags or trash bags. Keep calling them grocery bags, I don't know why. And then, what else? And then I went for a run when I came back because I know if I didn't go for a run, I wasn't going to run at all because I've been cramping. So I just don't feel like running, y'all. I just seriously don't feel like running, but I did it anyways. the line is perfect and then what I do is cut right here and go to part gotta clean my hair yeah my hair has gotten so long I've been doing the cosplay video now for two years but my hair used to be way shorter and it was so easy to do back then now it's so much longer and more maintenance. Great. I like the little part right there. Boom! What would I do? Is really, because I know I'm not gonna use this hair until the end where I need it. Braid it because my hair is long, so it gets in the way. I'm gonna braid the whole thing. Just keep it like that. And then pull out the little curls that I need. Wa bam! That's what I'm gonna need. And then. Well, bam! I'm gonna do the little two sides right here. I just get these little two sides right here. Super cute. They're gonna curl by themselves eventually. <laughs> See, this one's already starting to curl. I really don't ever put gel on it, but I might put gel in it today. Who knows? I don't like how much. Mm, this one is thicker. Same thing. I'm trying to do my hair fast because I just have so many things to do, y'all. Because then after I do this, I gotta go edit it and go like to Starbucks. As you can see, I do the little side curls too. If you've ever watched my cosplay videos, you know that I do a little side curl. The little side curl is usually about that thick. Oh, we're trying to thicken it a little bit. Oh, would you look at that? That's all it takes for that little curl. The other curl is usually the hardest. So 
good. And these guys. Holy man. My hair's gotten so long. Yeah, my hair is past the middle of my back, y'all. I'm just saying. And I've, I've put heat in it before, but not like, I don't do it all the time. Like last year, put heat in it when I did my modeling shoot. Too much, too much, too much. Too freaking much. Got a lot of baby hairs, yo. Got the same thickness. Yes. Music licensing reimagined. I do not got time today. Today I don't have time. What I do is grab half of it, twirl it. Before I twirl this thing, doing everything backwards, you guys. Oh my god! You know, like, oh, we gotta do a little story time, y'all. Did I tell y'all? I. Did I tell you the story about where I got this little booze? Like I said, me and my person were wrestling. More so. Happy Pride Month, you guys. <laughs> you know, having a, a good pride. Okay, you guys, gel that I use, this gel works miracles. I don't need something that's gonna like completely lay my hair back like crazy. Cause you know, like I don't have like really thick hair, but I don't have really thin hair either. Like I'm in the middle. To me, I feel like I just have thin hair. To some people I do. Some people I have thick hair. I don't think I have thick hair. So I've seen people with some thick hair. When you're Hispanic, everybody got thicker hair than you. Get this little way down. Y'all can see the little part right there.
You don't see that? I knew I had to do much. No curling products needed. If you do have straight hair, um, just curl those little curls. Now before I put the bun in, cause I want my little tease to be done in general, cause this tease pisses me off most of the time too. My hair, you can see it's like brown, it's like dark brown. Put a little gel in it, cause it'll curl up. It'll curl up, y'all. You see how I'm trying to do everything so fast, y'all? It's actually pretty fast compared to how my normal speed of doing my hair is. <laughs> Cue the music. I hope I don't get no copyrighted because my daughter's playing music over there. You know, like if you, you know, like TikTok or not like just like YouTube in general. If you do anything like that, get up. I'm filming. I'm filming her. Yeah, I YouTube it. Yeah. Um, I only said that because I know you. <laughs> you need makeup. Yeah, I'm doing a YouTube video. Get ready with me. How many Q-tips? I want to put gel at the end too because I know how the end of my curl is. Usually. Y'all see this? The curls is bouncing. Bouncing. Bouncing, bouncing. Bouncing curls. Y'all see that? On top of that. And then last but not least, we do the little bun. And since my hair is thick, y'all, well, not thick, but like way longer now, it used to be like quick when I do this little lump, little roll thing. But now it's like, it takes forever. My arms are gonna hurt doing this, but, you know, whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, you guys. Trying to do this as fast as possible. Fast, but like efficient. Efficient, fast, name it in the words. Um, no. Oh, look at me. Man, that was... 
was a struggle. And then to lay down the bunion, yeah, no, we need the pins. We need the pins. Another bun in here looks like a little small, but as you can see. Hair's like wet, so the bun looks weird. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. I'm not looking. I'm not liking how the bun looks. I'm taking it all out. Fast forward and probably do like a little voiceover. Take out the back because I used to have gauges, so it just goes in. Right in it goes. That's gonna stay. Now, for my earrings, this is done. The hair is done. That is the most important part. Everything else is easy, y'all. The hair part is the hardest part. For the Louisa cosplay video, that's literally the most stressful part is getting the hair perfectly done because Louisa's hair ain't perfect. The rest of the cosplays ain't gonna work. work. It ain't gonna be work. because my eyebrows are naturally thick. These are my natural arches. Um, I just plucked my middle, my eyebrows. The rest, I don't really care about. All right, y'all. First things first. this last but I don't it is I don't have like a, a what goes first and what doesn't this is just for what works for me y'all then the beginning of everything is always okay my face because I do have a little bit of hair
Corona, 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 now, now. Now, you guys, I don't care if I get like everything else around me messy because I'm gonna clean that up. It, does it, am I the only one who like sticks their tongue out while they're doing mascara? I'm pretty sure I'm not, but I think it's so funny. I remember when I was younger, when I was in school, there was this one kid who would like stick his tongue out all the time. And like, I was like at a like behavior school when I was younger, when I was like in seventh, eighth grade. Um, and he like stuck his tongue out and I used to get so like pissed like are you sticking your tongue out at me like I didn't know like back then I was like not educated about like other like people's disabilities and stuff like that but like anyways I was just like is this kid really sticking their tongue out at me and really he just like would bite his tongue and like that's just like how he would he would write like that he would like talk like that it was crazy but just like a little story when I was younger I also remember when I first, since it's Pride Month, I remember when I was in eighth grade, there was this kid, I didn't tell anybody that I was, at first I came out obviously as bisexual. Cause you know, I feel like every lesbian does that. First comes out as bi because they're scared of like, fully saying they're gay. And that was me, I was fully scared of saying I was gay. But um, when I was in eighth grade, we went to um, this place called Rolero. Rolero? Rolero. That's what it's called, Rolero. And I feel like I put way too much. I kind of want to take it off because I feel like they don't look the same. Tripping. I know I'm not tripping. These look longer. Someone I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, 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 but anyways, I went to Rolero. It was New Year's Eve. Um, I was still learning my sexuality, y'all. 
still was into boys but like i knew i really like into boys like i thought they were cute but like i was always scared of like really sleeping with a guy like that was really my fear like i just didn't know if i could get down like that like it just didn't feel like comfortable or like normal to me you know but like with the girl i was just like oh yeah i can do that yeah most definitely um so there was this girl she was like flirting with me and i think she was bi or gay i don't know there's this little girl i was in eighth grade at the time and we were at the skating ring one of the dudes from my school went with me and i was like if anything happens just don't say nothing you know what i'm saying because this girl kept flirting with me and i was flirting with her back he's like oh shoot you're into her and i was like shh and he's like, I didn't know you were, and I was like, I haven't told anybody. I just keep it to myself, you know, like it was a secret. Tell me why this dude told the whole school the next day because, well, after we came back from winter break, he's like, Maribel's gay, Maribel's gay. And I'm like, y'all don't say, don't be on me like that. I ain't gay, huh? I don't know what he's talking about. Like, I denied it for years. Like, after that happened, I think for like, till my sophomore, ending on my sophomore year, um i denied that i was gay like I, I was like i don't know what you're talking about i don't know you know i'm you know i took oh i tried to deny it so bad i went to church I, I just did not want to be gay like i was so scared because like my mom would always put in my head that i was going to hell if i was gay and you know and i hate like i like i was always scared like this is not normal i shouldn't feel like this i shouldn't like women and that's how i always felt truth is I was gay, be yourself, be happy. And if you believe in God, God's gonna love you regardless. Makeup is makeuping. This is literally all I use. Why do I keep dropping this? Anyways, kid told the whole school that I was gay and I denied it for the longest. I really did. I did deny that I was like a homosexual. Um and it wasn't until I went into high school sophomore year and I kept denying it. Like I like would have a crush and I would never say anything. And then I was like, nah, what, damn, where? I was like, I'm not gay. <laughs> gay. <laughs> Miss me with that. At the time I tried to have a boyfriend too. And I, I'm like, he kept trying to pressure me into like sleeping with him. Like, when are we gonna do it? I said, no marriage, you know what I'm saying? And like, but he was a really sweet dude. He treated me really good. And it's just like, for the life of me, I just couldn't be attracted to him in a sensual way. And I was just like, I can't, I just can't do it, man. Like, what is it with me? Like, why can't I just like, you know, like do this stuff? Like, and then I was just like, maybe it's cause I'm gay. And I already experienced with girls and I was just like, yeah, I'm definitely gay. Cause I had some experiences before I broke up, before I got with that dude, like I was like making out with girls. And I was like, whoa, like this feels magical. And then I made it with a dude and I was like, this feels gross. It feels like bland, like very basic. I'm not getting the intensity out of this, you know? And I and, and I and I made it with a couple of dudes, so I know that I was just like, mm. Yeah, this is this thing this ain't it, you know? I dated a couple of dudes when I was younger. Wasn't my cup of tea. I was just not in it. It didn't feel normal to me. And like, I was always brought up to be straight. So I was like, how would I know what normal feels like? 
if it wasn't just me being this way. Be kind, y'all. Anyways, y'all, that's my my like small coming out story because that was when I came out to my friends is when that happened. And I came out to my best friend saying I was bisexual. And it wasn't until my ending of my sophomore year where I finally came out like, I'm gay. I'm fully gay. I'm a lesbian. And um, I don't like dudes. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, this is my hair and my makeup for the Louisa. I'm going to go put on my shirt and I'll be back. All right, y'all. This is my cosplay. And um, this is my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoy it. I know I didn't talk much, but I will do a voiceover over some of them. But this is my fully get ready with me. Hope you enjoy. Peace.